Okay, so first hands on the Hummy motors, side by side with the Jacob motors. Um, they look fairly similar. First thing I notice, these ones have a lot more urethane on the outside, meaning that the motor's actually a little bit smaller inside there. These ones have got much more motor and a little bit less urethane. Um, spinning them around here, I don't know if you can see that when you spin this one, see when it stops, it sort of rocks back and forth a little bit. Something to do with the spacing of the magnets, I imagine. That doesn't happen on this one. And just, I mean, you can't tell in the video, but this feels very smooth. Whereas this, this one, I can sort of feel each magnet as it passes over the stator. I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent, I don't know, it's just the first thing that I've noticed with them side by side. Okay, I've got the Hummy motors on here. I'm going to come out and say it, gluing these things on to the trucks sucks. You sort of got to rely on adhesive to hold them to the trucks, I don't really dig that, but the other thing I don't like is you're kind of at the liberty of thread of the tr uh, of the truck when you're screwing it on as to where your wires end up as it turns out with mine I've ended up with both wires on top of the hanger there and uh, there's nothing I can do about that because that's tightened in as tight as they can go I guess I could probably get a spacer and space them out a bit but then then you're changing the width of the the wheels as well um, not ideal. Uh, obviously you're not going to be doing any 50-50 grinds on these but you know whatever. Uh, that's what I end up with. But uh, yeah alright let's road test these. Alright so this is the uh, check of motors. uphill, nothing, nothing crazy, they get up to speed quite quickly, and brakes quite good, spin it around, and now we'll go down the downhill grade, jeez, I just gave a full talk then from the start, and uh, let me tell ya, you, you gotta lean forward. Cause they go. These are sweet as. Now that I've worked the VESC settings out to be nice and smooth, these babies go so hard. Hummy motors on. Woo! Look at that! I'm using a nunchuck and I just lent on it, which is why it took off. Um, for all the nunchuck haters out there, haha, <laughs> whatever man. Solid as. Let's go, let's get this thing on the road and let's give it some boost. Okay, um, weird. A little bit of a jerking sensation when it hit the full throttle there. Um, they're a bit louder than uh, what I'm uh, used to with the uh, Jacob motors. Got a bit of a whine to them. Let me just 
stop here and turn around. They don't feel as fast. I'm gonna get some GPS on that to uh, to sort it out for sure. So which ones are better? Well, admittedly, I've I've only ridden these up and down the street, um, so I haven't given them a like a decent run. Uh, there's a few things that I don't like about these. The wires not being in a good location is, is one of them. The adhesive gluing them to the trucks, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, they've got, they've got decent torque. Um, they certainly work quite well. Um, they don't seem to be as smooth. As, uh, as these ones. I mean, there's a few minor things that I don't like about these. One of them is the tiny grub screw. I don't know if you can see it. Tiny grub screw in there. Uh, I managed to cross thread one of mine, this one. And, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty mechanical. I'm, I'm good at this sort of thing. Uh, and I managed to do it. So if I can do it, then, you know, anyone can do it. I've replaced it on this side with a, with a bigger one. Uh, that was, that was the one that I stripped out. But, um, I mean, other than that, that little grub screw gives a good mechanical connection onto the truck where these have no mechanical connection. I believe the later revision of these actually um, come with a better a better setup as well. So they have uh, a keyway or a pin or something to uh, to assist with that. Um, these definitely need some sort of mechanical connection. I I don't know. I can't see it. I I just. I just can't see it lasting with with glue alone. I mean, I know glue's good these days, but um, I don't know skateboards and vibrations and everything. Nothing nothing stays on boards for very long, even if it's the strongest glue in the world. And my choice is the Jacob Motors. Um, I guess draw your own conclusions, though. Um, Maybe someone who's actually also got both of them and tried both of them could uh, chime in and let me know what they have found out as well. But uh, that's what I'm calling. Alright. Peace.